Okay, another super low production video. I probably paid too much for this, broken. It doesn't read games. I tend to hack these things and only have digital games installed. So the card reader doesn't really matter that much. It did not come with a charger. It did not come with a stylus, but I have extra stylus laying around. It looks to be in really good shape though. Like it was barely played. It's in better shape than mine, and mine wasn't played. It was carried a lot, but mine wasn't played a lot. So <clears throat> let's um, see what we got. Unfortunately, it's not the new 3DS. I kind of assumed that it was. I made a mistake there. Uh, here is a 3DS game. I don't even know. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is a DS game. Let me go grab a, D, a 3DS game. I'll be right back. My bad. I thought the video was rolling. It was not. Let me um, let me show you what I've. I think I maybe have discovered. We're gonna zoom in here. There's a flap right here, and I don't know anything about these DSs, so I don't know why there's this flap. I don't know if somebody's bent something or if that's there for protection's sake. But let me show you what I've found okay let me flip this over and drop the knife so we're going to push this flap down and then look inside here Looks better a second ago. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Yeah, I need to show it like this. So we're examining the, the pins. There's this uh, cover thing that seems to be getting in the way. Now let me show you. It's very hard to see the pins. Okay. I feel like that might be a good angle. I think there's corrosion all over these pins. Look at pin number two from the left. See how it has a green tint? And there's another one right here. The pin closest to the blade, the tip of the blade, right there. That looks green also. And maybe a tad bit of green on some of the others down the rows. But I think you could see. Let's see if I can't get a better angle. Now I'm back to dealing with the, uh, the blade being too long. Yeah. We got corrosion. Sure would be nice if I had something shorter. Uh, give me one sec. Okay, here's 
something that's shorter. Too short, of course. Trying to get the absolute best view. If I was left handed, this would work so much better. So what do we think? That green tint on all these pens, is that corrosion? God, I wish we could just do a little bit better. might have to be good enough. Okay, so what can we do about that? Well, um, corrosion is something that is kind of a new concept for me, even though I've been dealing with it my whole life. It wasn't until recently that I learned that um, this stuff will eat it up like pretty much right away. So we're gonna pour a teeny tiny bit of this into the cap and spill it all over the damn place. And in fact, we don't even need to use the cap. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Take a Q-tip and I'm not gonna go sideways. I'm gonna go straight in and out on these pens. And then we're gonna stick a game in there. Now we're gonna zoom out. Well, let's zoom back in and inspect, see if that's done anything for the corrosion. The, the corrosion looks super light, and the vinegar should do a pretty quick job of removing it. Nope, still there. I think that bent shield or that
cover is not supposed to be like that. I think someone jammed something in here and jammed it out. And I think it's causing undue friction on this guy. Let's um let's coat this game cartridge. Let's turn this thing off. I don't know if we're actually turning it off or not. I think it's off. Just jam this thing in there back and forth. Basically using the game. Um, to rub the pens clean with the, that's distilled vinegar, distilled white vinegar. It smells, it smells like sunburn. I remember being a kid getting that stuff applied to me. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Pin number two is still green. One, two, three, four, five. No, pin number five, seven. Let's do that again. So I use one end to clean the gunk that might be the residue that might be left behind on the game cartridge and then we're using the other end to apply more. In case anyone's wondering, I do not will not claim to be a pro at this. It's popping in and out much easier. Okay, that was just a coincidence. So what we're doing is we're causing the game to run, rub over those pins. They slide, slide over those pins. The pins have corrosion on them. This is just attempt number one. There might be other things I'm going to have to try to do here. All right, let's inspect those pens again.
I think we're ready for a test run. So I'm just gonna blow into it, adding my slobber. Just to dry it out. DS, planes. Let it power on. Okay, stick the cartridge in. Nothing. It started to read that time. It's reading now. Okay, we got it. Okay, let's put the Shinobi game in there. It's working. Let's try this driver game. Okay, it's working. So, you know, might need to do this a little bit more to polish up those materials, make them rub on each other, because we're the Corrosion occurred on the pins, probably ate into the metal just a little bit, causing the metal to not be perfect. You probably saw that while looking down into the socket. Oh, that's too far. It's almost like a, like a white, not so shiny part of the pins now where the corrosion was. Let's see if I can't zoom in a little bit more. Remember, pin number two had quite a bit of corrosion on it. You can kind of still see where it's not quite as shiny as it should be where the corrosion was. But I think it's going to be fine. Now I need to figure out, you know, what's, what's this about? What's this cover doing? Is it supposed to not be there? I'm guessing somebody, I don't know, it, it ate someone's game or somebody stuck a tool in there and ripped on it and bent it. Now, maybe it's supposed to be like that. I doubt it because I feel like that's what's pinching down on the back of the game, dragging against it, uh, not letting the games come out quite like they should. Let's see. I could be wrong though. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be to protect the pins, perhaps. But it's not letting the game come out 100% of the time. See, like that time it didn't come out. Still got some vinegar in there. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. Everything that I've ever applied this vinegar to has worked and I would use rubbing alcohol to clean the vinegar up uh, and to help dilute the smell. But I don't know if I care so much about that at this point. Um, the game is working. 
So I would say we've got, you know, the, the majority of the issue solved here. So that's that's pretty much that. So like 40 bucks for a broken 3DS doesn't seem like a good deal to me, but I kind of had a suspicion that it was going to be an easy fix. Um, I, I, when I was in the store, I looked at it. I used my flashlight to look down in there, and I thought that I saw one of the pins was corroded. So... I don't know. I guess maybe I got lucky this time, and um, now I've got a 3DS here for 40 bucks. Um, hopefully, there is something useful here for people. Um, I before I shot this video, I hopped on YouTube and started looking at other videos uh, pertaining to 3DS won't read game disc, or there's no there's no game in the cartridge slot, or whatever words they use. And everybody's saying that. A lot of folks were saying that this was the issue, you need to clean these, but I don't know, I guess I was looking for ideas on how to clean the slot, but I didn't see anything. Um, I guess I came up with something, so that's all I got for now.